Hey everybody, happy hump day. It's Wednesday. It's been almost a week since my last treatment, which would be treatment number two of six and second round. Okay, so um, first, first treatment a month ago, not so bad. This one kicked my ass, literally kicked my ass. Like hardly got off the couch, couldn't eat nothing, couldn't drink nothing. Actually, I could eat, um, but I couldn't drink anything. Um, everything tasted like shit. This whole 68 ounces of water, yeah, you can kiss my ass because I was lucky to get six ounces of water a day. I just, every time I took a drink, I just wanted to puke, so it was gross. Um, finally today, I'm back to drinking water, so I'm back on track. It's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I, I just wish it was more consistent and I knew what to expect and what I was going to be in store for. And unfortunately, no, this really doesn't happen that way. Um, so, but I, I wanted to touch base because... You know, my, my big thing lately was all about your attitude, right? Have a good attitude, be happy, 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 joy, joy, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're all just rainbows and sunshine. So a couple weeks ago, my chemo got pushed out not once, but twice, okay? Because my low white blood count. Not only was just the chemo pushed out, but in order for it to even get pushed out, I had to have lab work done to even state whether it needed to be pushed out or not. So two weeks in a row, I go to get my labs done. They don't have any, any orders in for me to even get labs, right? So the first week I was like, yeah, whatever. It was in the middle of the day. So I called my doctor's office. I'm like, look, I'm here to get labs. They got no inclination that I'm even supposed to be here. Um, can you just do whatever you need to do to make sure it's in the system so I can get this done and get out of here? Not a big deal. That should have been red flag enough for me to call ahead and say, hey, I'm going to get my labs. Can you make sure they're in the system? No, I didn't. I just took for granted that, you know, through the whole interweb thing, the doctor's office and the lab could communicate and everybody would know what was supposed to happen. You know, that's not how it works. So at 10 minutes to seven in the morning, I'm at the lab trying to get blood work and they got nothing. They got nothing. No, we don't have, I don't, I don't have any lab orders for you. Why are you here? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? It's seven o'clock in the morning. I can't call my doctor's office. Nobody's there. I have no one to get a hold of to make sure that, you know, you can see these orders that for whatever reason, there's some riff between the doctor's office and the lab and, oh, we're trying to cross train, but it's not working out real well. I don't care. I don't need to know what you're trying to do. Just like make it happen. I turned into a complete asshole. There was no happy, happy, joy, joy going on that day. Um, I was not very nice to the lady who I wanted to take my blood work and she wouldn't based on my word. I'm like, uh, it needs to be done. We just take the blood, take the blood. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. They just don't do what you want just because you want them to do it. Unfortunately, um, it was, it was, it was a day. <laughs> it was a day. Um, so I end up leaving coming home because nothing else I can do. I finally, I'd send a lovely little email to the doctor's office because you know everything, you can communicate through email and message and all kinds of crap now. So I send off a little email about customer service and yada yada, you know, because because I can, right? If I, we can all be an asshole. Like we all carry that badge whenever we want to. Doesn't mean we gotta let it shine. Oh honey, it was shining. It was shining. People were incompetent and people were assholes and people were screwing with my time and you know, who can I bill for this and blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, it was like ridiculous that I was an asshole. So, so my doctor's office calls me back a little while later and apologizes for not having the labs in the proper place apparently. And according to them, well, they, they listed it in two different places so that the lab would be sure to see it. I don't know where you're listing it, but they're not seeing it. So whatever it needs to happen, can we just have a common place that these freaking labs are so they can find them? I don't know. To me, that doesn't sound very hard. If, you know, I had to, my customers had to leave and go home because I didn't do my job, I probably wouldn't have a job. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I don't work in the medical field. So it, it was awful. And I... Um, I had to reflect back on that because I was an asshole and I didn't need to be an asshole 
you know, the people at the lab, they know their job, they do what they know how to do, and they look where they know to look for, for things. And if they don't see it, they don't see it. I don't know. They don't know where else to dig, I guess, to try to find these orders. My doctor's office knows that there's an issue. I mean, like she blatantly said, oh, we're trying to cross train and they we always seem to have this issue. Really? If it's always an issue, then I guess why doesn't it get addressed to begin with? So hence came my attitude and my assholeness came right out and people were all well aware of who I was that day. Not a, you know, shining star moment for me, but it happens. And I think that's just, uh, one of the things I just wanted to talk about today. Yes, it is all about attitude. And yes, we can absolutely choose how we go about each day, how we treat people, how we handle situations, good and bad. And no, we are not all perfect. And no, um, I am not always nice and happy and bubbly and, and you know, um, looking at the rainbows and unicorns and, and whatnot. It just doesn't always happen. Cause why? Because we're human. I'm human. You're human. We're all human. And we all make mistakes. The thing about it is, it took me until like the next day to really gather that how rude I was being. I even went back to the lab that day after they were put back in or whatever happened and saw the same girl that I, I was rude to. She didn't take my blood, but she passed me in the hall and we made eye contact and that was a prime opportune moment for me to apologize. Did I? No. Uh, no. No, sure didn't. So again, not a shining moment for me and it just it causes me to reflect on the fact that I don't need to be an asshole and I could have absolutely apologized to her. You know, whatever. Maybe she's new. Maybe, maybe she hasn't been there very long. I have no idea. Um, but it, it didn't warrant the behavior that I, uh, portrayed there that day. Mm -mm. No, there was no, no, uh, no wonderful attitude happening. So, it, and I guess part of this is because I don't want y'all to think I'm like some saint because Lord knows I am not. Um, no, hello, this is potty mouth Jesus lover. Ain't no sainthood happening here. So, mm -mm. no, uh, so when next time you want to just be an asshole, because you can, and it's super easy, and sometimes it's kind of fun, we just have to try to take a step back and realize that regardless of the situation, shit's going to happen, it's going to get done, it just might not be on our time schedule, right? So I go back to trying to have a good positive outlook and a good positive attitude, but it doesn't always work out that way. And I, you know, don't beat yourself up over it, because... It's life and life happens and you're human and and it's okay I should have apologized though I really do owe that girl an apology um because that was rude I mean I didn't like call her names or nothing not that that makes it any less okay but it is what it is so anyway people when you're having a bad day just try to take a deep breath and go at it with the best positive attitude you can even though sometimes that positive attitude is somewhere far far off in the distance and you just can't see it and that's it for me today thank god I do feel better um I am drinking my water I'm still trying to maintain a good um healthy balance with my food and whatnot I'm still off the sugar I'm not drinking my juices like juicing as much as I should probably um but uh my my root vegetables and plant-based diet is still in effect so I feel like I'm at least getting that um I need to juice again and juice some more, but I'm telling you what, it is not easy to keep vegetables in the house and keep them good um, for that long or juice a whole freaking head of romaine lettuce or whatever and a, a whole bag of carrots. So it just, it's, um, I'm trying to find that balance and make everything work and not go broke in the meantime because <laughs> juicing is not cheap. Staying healthy is not cheap. Good God almighty. So yeah, so I'm still trying to find that balance, but uh, the root, the root plant or the root vegetables and the plant-based foods that definitely is going over well, and that I seem to be able to um, maintain. So we're just gonna keep going with that for now, and um, eventually try to throw a recipe or two in here because it's kind of interesting, it's kind of neat, and I was super intimidated by the food for a long time, and not so much now. So that's awesome. So anyway, 
everybody have a fabulous Wednesday. Hopefully I'll see you soon. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the channel. You guys have a great day. Bye.